Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh Wiggler here from RHAP. We know scripted TV and we know it's the end of the year, 2024. So we know it's time to talk about the best TV and movies of 2024. I am, of course, not alone here. I am joined here by one of our premier tastemakers on RHAP. We know scripted TV, the great Grace leader. Grace, it's the end of the year as we know it. Uh, premier tastemaker. That's a one of two things. So I'm very happy to be one of the premier tastemakers on yes. Video from TV. And um, it's the most wonderful time of the year, Josh, where I get to do a bunch of math. A lot of math coming across Grace Leader's plate here in these final few weeks of December 2024, where for the first time ever, RHAP, We Know Scripted TV, is going to be turning to you, dear listener, to find out what was the best of the best here in 2024? Top 10 TV shows, top 10 movies as voted upon by you. Grace, how does this work? It's very, very fun. There is a link in your in the show notes um, that uh, will let you get two ballots. One is for the television shows of the year and one is for the movies of the year. And you get to fill out one through 10. Number one gets the most points. You're going to get 10 points for that thing. So choose wisely. Don't just start listing your 10 things. you got to put them in the order or not. I don't care. Live your life. However but, you want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Just uh, know the consequences if you vote. Yeah. Like some people are like, I'm going to write the same show 10 times. And then I'm like, well, your, your vote has been invalidated. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, what? I, I often feel like I'm a I'm a huge defender of democracy, Josh. And okay, then people, good, people, good. I'm glad to, that you clarified that. Well, you know, it's good to oh, like once worth a year, worth once clarifying. a year, it's worth it's worth saying, yeah. except then the ballots come in. I'm like, I hate this ballot. I want to throw. This. I've watched the advertisers for Hudson and Rex. I'm not I'm not kidding you. Probably mm, 45 times in the last week. I'm not so, kidding. You. I'm not kidding you when I tell you and no, I promise we'll get back on rails. Uh, Hudson and Rex, uh, relatively popular in uh, Vietnam. Uh, oh, Emily and I watched a lot of Hudson and Rex on TV in Vietnam over the Wow, summer. that's yeah. really fun. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, apparently, it's very popular in Canada, too, because they yeah. really... Or it's not, and they, but they're like, please watch this please show. Please watch Hudson and Rex. Okay. So anyway, so, so if, someone voted, do, if someone voted Hudson and Rex 10 times, I, I do want to throw out your ballot. We'll but, throw out your ballot, other than we'll probably count I'll, it I'll, as like a first I'll, place vote. I'll keep your first place vote, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. 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 I have more things I'll get to at the end when we do this, but no, this is a, a an exercise in seeing what the listeners are watching and loving, Josh. And I, I do actually... I know we said we'd stay on the rails, but I actually I think this is a within rails question, yeah. which is as I'm thinking about this, we are sending out this ballot and we're on We Know Scripted TV. But we're also on Rob as a podcast. Yes. And in previous years, there have been a smattering of ballots for shows like, I don't know, Survivor as a as a top 10 show. Back when and we like, did this on post show recaps at the end of every year. Yeah. And so my question to you, Josh, is. How do what is our what is going to be our test here about non scripted shows? Because does it you know what? Yeah, it's our HAP. We know scripted TV. I, I Keep know it scripted. Keep it scripted. We know you love Survivor. We know you love Big Brother. We want to know what scripted shows you are enjoying. So I am a firm vote for Keep It Scripted. Uh, we'll throw out your reality ballot. Well, uh, but here's, here's my compromise Josh. for other use. Sure. Well, I'm going to add an 11th question on the ballot here, which is what was the best reality TV show of Love the year? That. And Great. that shall then be able to, I mean, I think a lot of people are going to say survivor, So sure. now you could vote strategically and be like, well, I'm not going to vote survivor because a lot of people are going to vote survivor. And then suddenly like, you know, name a random reality show from the yeah. show that's going to pull out. Numbers. I think one of the other things too, Grace, I think like you could put down uh, questions about reality TV shows. I think you could put down questions about people's favorite characters of the year, favorite episodes of the year. If we get some fun data, we can bring that into these podcasts. But the way it's going to work, you've got these questions, you've got these polls uh, that you can fill out linked to in your show notes for the best TV, best film of the year. You've got until the morning of December 20th to fill out these ballots. That's 1220 when you want to be sending your ballots in at the latest. Grace and I are then going to tally the votes, get back together, and we will record two podcasts on TV and film, the best of the best of 2024, as voted upon by you, dear listener. Do you, uh, I don't want to put our thumbs on the scales, but like in your mind's eye, Grace, is your ballot fairly clear? You're going to really have to sit down with this. 
I mean, I think what's tough about this year is for both for actually, this is normally a movie phenomenon, Josh, where a lot of the best movies come out at the end of the year uh, yeah. because they're trying to submit for the Oscars next year. And I actually think we had a pretty strong start to the year. And I actually think we have a pretty strong like a week, end, a week or end to the year. So what I'm most worried about is a show. For example, there's a Netflix show that I won't put my thumb on the scope. I think it's very, very good, but I don't think it's going to make the list because it's just cutting it too close to the end of the year. Yeah. So, you know, we shall see. I'm very excited to see because I think this is the first time we're ever doing it on RHAP as part of We Know Scripted TV. So I'm very excited to see what type of flavor uh, of scripted TV RHAP listeners are watching. Yeah. I'm very excited to see your ballots. I promise your judge, your ballots are completely anonymous. I will never share what you put on the list, so you should vote with your heart. I will judge you myself, but I'm the only person who gets to see. What if you, you if you put Hudson and Rex ten times, uh, though maybe that's what you want to do, and you know you get to uh, live your live your truth out here. Um, apologies in advance to Squid Game season two, which Tough. is going to come out here in 2024, but past the eligibility period, unfortunately. Uh, if if we are uh, if someone remi uh, reminds us if Squid Game should be even considered uh, for uh, for 2025, we'll just push it in. We'll push it into 2025 uh, for next year's ballot. But uh, all which is to say, um, with films, this is pretty cut and dry. If it came out in 2024, it's eligible. If it did not come out in 2024, it is not uh, eligible for votes. Uh, for TV, my vote would be the show had to have come out in 2024 or the majority of episodes came out in 2024. So if something premiered near the end of December 2023, but the vast majority of the episodes were 2024, I'm fine with including that in here. But just do your research, do your homework, because we certainly will as well. If your show doesn't meet those criteria, we're going to throw it out. We're going to be merciless about this stuff. We'll I maybe make a footnote of like, well, this wasn't actually out this year, but it was pretty close and it was a really great show. You know, we'll do that for sure. But otherwise, we want to get your 2024 shows, your 2024 movies. That's what we're going to count down. Grace is going to do the maths, collate the numbers, and then we are going to go down the top 10, 10 to 1 on two separate podcasts, one about movies, one about TV. Grace mm -hmm. Leader. Yeah, there's, uh, there's, uh, Josh, you're the most active man on, on the RHAP. This is Facebook what they call me, shows. the most active man. Uh, the that's most the active of, man. Not yeah. to spoil my upcoming pod friends appearance with Matt Scott, but uh, the most active man is the name of my autobiography. I love it. And um, so that's a good place. We will share the link in the patron Facebook group as well. And if you have questions about like, do you think my show is going to be eligible? I'll tell you yes or no. Whether sure. or not, like if it only aired one episode at the end of at the beginning of 2024, I'm going to be like, probably not. Um, so you have to be a patron to be in that Facebook group. But if you are, it's a good place to ask questions. There's other places you could ask me these questions, but I'm, I may be less likely to answer them if you're not in the patron Facebook group. So there you go. Another yeah. reason to become a patron of RHAP, go to Rob's website.com slash patron to become one. Grace, we're going to be back in just two weeks to talk about the best TV, the best movies of 2024. Can't wait to see what people put down on their list. We will be sure to tell you about this poll that remains open until December 20th. All over We Know Scripted TV, we know scriptedtv.com. If you are not yet subscribed, you're going to want to do so. That's the way you never miss out on an episode of The Tastemakers with Grace, as well as her other premier tastemaker, the great Taryn Armstrong. The weekend program, that's me and Antonio Mazzaro doing random TV and movie things every single weekend. Star Wars skeleton crew that Grace is covering right now with the great Owen Jedi Knight. Uh, lots of really fun things happening on We Know Scripted right now. That you're all going to want to check out as we are winding down the first year of RHAP. We know scripted TV, Grace. You're one almost to the books. That's pretty wild. Um, it's been a it was only a half year. year. It was like we did a half day at work. I know, but uh, you know, the we're record will it. show that we debuted in 2024. Come on, it's like we were a 2024 baby here, okay? Like yeah. we count a majority of our episodes were released in 2024 for certain. That's right. That's right. Um, all right, folks, we'll be back in just a couple of weeks to tell you what the best movies and TV shows of 2024 are as voted upon by you. Yes, you. Check your show notes again for that link, and we'll see you at the, oh, I was going to say the Oscars, but that ain't it. We'll come up with a name for it. Okay, bye.